Hey, Dr. Karen Can here. Welcome to another edition of the Spiritual Medicine Digest for the second week of October 2018. And so it has been a challenging week on many fronts. One is uh, losses, um, deaths of people, uh, illnesses, things like that, that were unexpected. But on some level, because of this ascension process, it's almost like it's to be expected. Like, of course, there is that cycle of life and death. So there are baby births as there are, you know, death of people that we don't necessarily expect to die. Um, and can we predict who is going to leave the earth next? Not necessarily, and it may not be for our highest and greatest good to know, but just so you know that uh, our light warriors are sending love and prayers and uh, healing to anybody that wants that, who needs that. Um, join us at the Light Warrior Network and uh, put up a request that you would love to request some energy healing and some energy support and prayers and uh, we'll uh, approve that post so you can get some healing from the community. So the second difficulty this past week has been entities, entities, and entities. Now you may say, well, gee, with this ascension process or expansion process, there's all this new light and energy, why are we dealing with entities. Well, these are entities that could not have been found, uh, counted, perceived uh, prior to the level of ascension energies that we have now. And a lot of these are not necessarily personalized to a particular person. Like some of these entities we've been dealing with uh, this past week have to do with the entities somehow entwined in the fabric of our multiverse and the fabric of our universe and the fabric of our galaxy. Some people will call these uh, fascia, like I'll call them fascia, as if it's like the fascia of the body, but it's um, that uh, the, the one thing that actually perpetuates the existence of entities is the level of consciousness of mass consciousness, in other words, the collective unconscious. So you can check the light score of the collective unconscious or mass consciousness in this universe overall. You can check it in uh, for this planet, the humans. Uh, you can check it for the entire multiverse. I mean, there's all these different ways you can check it. The higher the light score of the general public or mass consciousness, um, the less likely there is going to be entities perpetuating in the fabric of existence. Now, I don't know whether this is, um, you know, just uh, something that is in my reality and maybe not in everyone's reality, but uh, the template or the blueprint to produce, like, bo like to have born uh, new entities has now been pulled and canceled. Um, for whatever reason, we were allowed to do that. So there's no template now for making new entities. Like there was a case in the past where a friend of mine talked about uh, working at this camp when he was younger. And um, this camp actually isn't that far from me. So it's down south somewhere. Anyway, so there's this kid's camp and there was this ghost story that was going around and around um, about this camp. So, you know, I checked in and I thought, uh, you know, I was checking into entities and sure enough, I, you know, found some entities there. So, um, but when I was trying to figure out what kind of entity it was, it was actually a little bit tricky and I was wondering why, since this was a ghost story, it's like really, usually really simple to just find the ghost, clear it, heal it, whatever. But what it was, was that so many people had talked about the ghost that they actually created it by talking and talking and talking about it. So this whole, this whole myth of this haunted camp and everything like that, even when there was no ghost, they actually created one. It wasn't really a real ghost, but it was more like a, um, a spirit-based thought form or thought form-based spirit, something like that. <laughs> so that was fascinating uh, to know that we can create them that way. So I'm not really sure if that template is gone. I'm getting that it's a yes, that it's gone. Uh, however, there are still slews of entities that still need our help and healing. Uh, that we are finding coming out. So uh, some of the sensitives, uh, especially the, you know, um, 
I would say, you know, the Earth Angel star season specifically uh, may have felt very unwell this past week as we were doing this uh, or finding out about these entities. Uh, maybe you could feel them in other timelines. Uh, one of the things that um, I have been testing over and over again for clients uh, this past week is that many of them are able to feel what's going on in their alternate timelines. We call this alternate um uh, alternate self syndrome uh, and their alternate selves were actually proxying for other things or people and uh, the most common this past week has been uh, the alternate self is proxying for a planet so imagine you're on this planet right you're earth you're an earthling right and then another universe you are an alien or another earthling on another planet which is non-parallel we've, we've been testing a lot of non-parallel timelines here um so what happens is this you okay whatever's going on with this you your you in this timeline actually feels it now this you is actually proxying for a planet because the planet has entity portals and issues and things like that so when that happens you actually process the stuff through your body in this timeline but because all your timelines are converged to guess what Sometimes you get to feel it in this timeline too. So what we're trying to do is create a new morphic field whereby your awareness of alternate timelines that is not necessary for you to be aware of will be kind of ignored and so you don't have to be aware of it. So you can just check and if you do divine muscle testing, just check what percentage of alternate timelines am I currently aware of or symptoms from alternate timelines am I currently aware of and the idea is it should be pretty low so less than 10% ideally if it's over that um, then you might need to download a positive morphic field that keeps your awareness more centered in the now and in this timeline so that's already infused into several of my mp3s you just have to go ahead and ask for that so you can just say hey ascension to uh, download that morphic field to me right now that prevents me from feeling symptoms uh, for my other timelines, even if I'm proxying, you know, something like that, then Ascension 2 will know which one that you want. Now, it will download to you eventually and automatically, but it may take several days to do that completely. Whereas if you just command it like this, then it's very fast, it's within seconds. So it's all about your attention, at least at this point in manifesting. A lot of it has to do with your quality of attention. Not even just quantity, because you can literally attend to, I want this healed and attend to it for one minute and it's faster than if you didn't know about it. And it is gradually going to shift and make that change in your body just by listening to the Ascension 2 uh, passively or deep healing 2 and 4 or augment your superpowers, for example. Um, so, <laughs> so hopefully I haven't confused you too much about the alternate timelines, but um, that seems to have occurred several times. So I did want to share that with you. The other thing I wanted to share with you is that this box here in Topican Healing Guide 1, which is in the spiritual row, um, this is uh, column B here. Okay, this is all about entity attachments, cords, tethers, empathy, interference, infections, toxins, weapons, markers, portals, <laughs> leading energies. Uh, this box has been pretty active this past week, and we've had months where I don't really get anything, any answers like that on Topican healing assessments. But this past week, there's been a lot of that, and 100% of them have been, at least for my clients, has been alternate non parallel timelines. Yeah, so that's been kind of interesting. Um, so the other thing that I wanted to let you know about is that um, last week I talked about these energetic response templates or blueprints. Um, blueprints are probably more accurate. So this is how your energy body responds to a certain you know, stimuli or a certain situation. There are some of these blueprints that are not appropriate for us as humans in this timeline so that you can go ahead and ignore those. And you can ask your God team or spirit team to go ahead and continue ignoring ones that are no longer appropriate because that can change and morph with time. Uh, you can also, this is new information, but you can also download positive energetic response blueprints that are for the highest good and good for you. Um, so you can go ahead and ask your God team to download those to you. Again, these, these instructions are already in Ascension 2, uh, but again, when you put your attention on, hey, I want that one, <laughs> you know, that'll download immediately to you unless there's something else you need to know. And in that case, you'd have to refer to the Topican Healing Guides uh, to see if there's something in there that, you, that Source wants you to know about before you can download those morphic fields. But for most people, uh, just you paying attention to it, it'll start downloading automatically, especially if you already have the Ascension 1s and 2 MP3s. 
Okay, so a um, couple of uh, announcements. Uh, number one, I'm looking at my notes here. Um, the Supercharger Healing Powers online program, which includes the three days of live training that's been recorded, um, as well as the handouts um, and the accelerator training, which is about $1,000 uh, value there uh, of training. There's like four modules and uh, you know, meditations and things and that. Um, currently, that is on sale right now for $377, and you can go to superchargerhealing.com. And uh, the actual um, event uh, recordings are going to be made available sometime in early November. But in the meantime, you get immediate access to the accelerator training and all those different modules. You'll also get some bonuses, including some of the special meditations that we did in the live event. We're going to separate those uh, and also add new ones. So these are specific for manifesting um, and dealing with um, negative situations and emotions and one for specifically for manifesting what you want, um, some techniques in there, and it's fairly easy to learn uh, once you get the hang of it. So I'm really super excited to share that with you. So you can go to superchargeyourhealing.com and get the early bird price of $377. And then um, after October 15th, it's going to be $477. Uh, so the other announcement as well is that we just opened our doors to the Light Warrior VIP program. It's been renamed to the Topican Self-Healing VIP Training Program. Um, we wanted to highlight that this now includes the Topican Healing Level 1 training, which is going to work out to about 70 small short videos to share with you each of the things that are in these guides and what they mean. For example, unless you happen to be in functional medicine or a practitioner, you might not know what microbiome is, right? So we describe it with some pictures and things like that, what your microbiome is. And there's certain definitions in here that a lot of times you may not need to know what they are, but if you do, then it would be helpful to have the level one uh, training. So for example, uh, here it says uh, spiritual debris. Well, you might not need to, need to know what that is, but if you do need to know, then I explain what that is so you know what you're erasing. <laughs> So the 70 plus videos include, you know, every uh, row and boxes has a video uh, for each of these that explains what each of these do. And of course, the soul mission matrix, how to figure out what your soul mission is in this timeline and your soul typing, um, how to figure out what type you are. Are you an earth angel? Are you an indigo soul? Uh, we give you that information. We also do a cleanup of the, an upgrade of your God team as well um, as a, uh, um, as a uh, part of the training, yes. So yeah, so the Light Warrior, um, what used to be called the Light Warrior VIP can be now found in that particular website, so lightwarriorvip.com, so you can check that out. And then, and uh, for that particular program, it's uh, about six months. So you get some one-on-one -on -one sessions with me, then you get some group advanced sessions, and then you get the level one training, and then you get Light Warrior Revolution for three months. Uh, and then, um, yeah, so that is the uh, level one prerequisite for doing practitioner training. We will have something separate for level one that doesn't have the VIP portion in the future, just so you know. Uh, but this one includes that very, you know, that one-on-one -on -one and uh, more interaction with me. So this is a more of a VIP hybrid program with level one training. And if you would like to be interviewed, um, you can go and get an interview with me to see if you're right for this program. So again, that link is lightwarriorvip.com and the Supercharger Healing Powers uh, is at superchargerhealing.com. So you can check those two specials out. And I look forward to connecting with you next week. Lots of love. Bye.